Ahoy ahoy and welcome to the Anarchist Mechanic. Today on this episode we're going to be discussing the MDS lifter that comes out of the Gen 3 Hemi. <laughs> now as we can see looking at the MDS and non-MDS lifters we can notice an instant difference in the body as there is these holes located in the body of the lifter which have push pins. This body however does not. However, there is actually another uh, thing that we can show visually. And that is, it's 18.5 millimeters for a non-MDS, and the MDS lifter is 19.5. What does that mean? That means, if we were to switch these around, it's a very loose fit inside this yoke if an MDS lifter is fitted into a if a non-MDS lifter, sorry, is fitted into an MDS lifter tray. Obviously, this fits a lot better. If we were to mix this around, I can't even fit this lifter inside the lifter tray of the non-MDS lifter. So that's just a very basic reason why you can't just replace an MDS lifter into the tray of a non-MDS lifter or a non-MDS lifter into the tray of the MDS lifter. You can instantly see that the non-MDS and the MDS lifter have different components within. Some similar, some are different. However, we begin with the pentagonal circlet which holds in all of our components. Now we have the receiver cup for our push rod located on top and then a small chamber with a small check valve. It's very difficult to see but at the bottom here we have a check valve and that check valve will allow oil that comes in from the push rod through the hole inside the cup to fill that chamber which will then open that check valve filling the chamber below where the spring is located. Now when we set our preload, I believe we're setting our preload against that spring so that we've got 50 thousandths worth of preload so that we don't have any chattering when we start the vehicle up, causing that lifter to bottom out. When we want to take a look at the MDS lifter, you can instantly see we've got two circlips that hold in this entire assembly. And no doubt it's because we get to when we get to these springs, We'll see why. Once again, we have a cup, although this cup is a different shape. That's our receiver for our push rod. We have the same section, although when sat side by side, you can, you can see it's much smaller. And the reason for that is because it has to slip into the barrel of this component. Now, again, we have our same spring. So when we're setting our preload, we're setting our preload exactly the same. However, these push pins, that is what your MDS system is activating. These push pins sit in line with that hole. Now as oil flows over the body of the lifter, the oil collapses those pins. Now inside the lifter, there is a very, very small ridge. That's where our ridge is. That is what these pins sit on top of. As you can see, there is a flat section to the bottom of this pin. That sits on that lip, which causes uh, this section to remain stationary when the MDS system is not activated. And we're just working off of that spring to set our preload. And then the oil will fill this bottom section below this plunger. Oil will fill that section, and that's how our hydraulic roller works. Once oil collapses those pins, we're then working with this set of springs, which means that this assembly now is able to move against these springs. Now these springs, we've got one, two, and three springs, each stacked inside each other to compensate for the spring pressure at the valve. This ensures 
that the push rod stays inside the cup while deactivating this cylinder. These springs are not able to override the valve spring, however they don't allow our push rod to fall out of the cup because that would be detrimental to the engine operation. Well that brings us to the end of this information intake on MDS lifters for the Gen 3 Hemi engine. Thanks for watching everybody. If you like this information, uh, leave a like. If you want to keep up with any more videos that the channel is producing, hit the subscribe button. And uh, if you think we've done anything incorrect, if you think that information needs to be updated, or you want to share your opinion, just leave a comment in the comment section below. Take care, everyone. Turn around, Mobile! <laughs>